all right hello everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl rye all right so we are at the car shop i do need an oil change on my car so y'all do not judge me but today i'm very motivated and i'm coming back to you guys stronger than ever because i've been slacking on my content creation and i miss you guys so let's just start here this week i'm gonna take you guys along let me turn off the air because I think sometimes y'all be oh the lighting is kind of weird but y'all peep into the skin like a girl look good I'm not even trying like what the fuck is going on like mm, 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 mm. but no y'all seriously this week is gonna be a good week it is now Thursday I was supposed to have a class like orientation class today but I overslept and I wasn't gonna be on time so I'm just gonna message my educator and see if I can test out of that only because she offered me to test out of it to begin with, but I was like, no, let me just sit in the class. Anyways, the, the point is, I'm gonna be recording a little vlog with you guys. I'm gonna take you guys with me through the work week. I have only two more shifts for this week, Friday and Saturday, and then I'm gonna be off for three days and I'm gonna probably go see my family. What I'm thinking, you guys, is that I'm gonna just be taking y'all to work with me and just do a quick little vlog, and then you guys can expect for a story time and a try on haul from Matt Collection to be coming to you guys soon. So, with this video at work lately, I have been, I started training a new grad nurse. So, you guys, y'all know that I've trained um, or oriented with nurses before. Previously, when I had to be a preceptor, it was with a nurse that was already an established nurse. So she was new to our unit, but she had been nursing for years and years and years, like before I was a nurse. So I wasn't really teaching her how to be a nurse. I was just kind of showing her how we do things at our facility, where she can find stuff, who she needs to call, you know, just like a different chain of command. But this time around, I'm training a new grad nurse and it just makes my heart so warm because you guys, like, I want more nurses to be like me. I know if I take the time and I show you the ropes and I give you the real and I show you how to do this stuff the right way, the way that it's supposed to be done, then that means that I'm setting my patients up for success. I'm setting future patients up for success because if I instill into her the things that were instilled into me, then she's going to be a great nurse and her practice is going to be similar to mine. So you guys, I feel like it's just like a gift. I feel like it's definitely a blessing to be able to be in this position and not that it matters, but she is a young black nurse. So it just makes me feel so great to just be like giving back and I remember when I when I had to precept how I would look up to my preceptors and I would want to be just like them and so I just make sure that I make it a priority to like give her that positive learning environment and I want for her to be able to come to me with questions and come to me with concerns and like you know allow me to help her get through it and allow me to like help her brainstorm and you know just navigate all of these new things so it's it's been eventful don't get me wrong it definitely has like its works with it because the negative is that i feel like sometimes you have to do a little bit more work when you're teaching someone but all in all it's like i like having a little helper like now i don't need to go find my aides to like help me turn people or to help me feed people because she's right here she can help me we have like a little buddy system so some of the things that we started i started with her this week we did two days together that was her first two days um, I let her do, you know, like she kind of was just following me around seeing my workflow. I have a really good flow and I'm not trying to just toot my own horn, but I've had multiple nurses like train under me and they all tell me like I have a really good workflow that kind of sets us up for success for the work day. Um, so I just kind of showed her how I do stuff. She didn't really do much. She didn't do any charting and she, I started just like showing her how to do stuff then allowing her to do it. So, you know, like hanging IV fluids for patients I showed her how we like start scanning medications when it comes to giving meds um, we did like IV lab sticks um, we also did like IV starts I'm the type of preceptor too like I'm gonna be trying to get you to like try new experiences and go practice all the skills that you need to practice because I know that getting your hands on it is the only way that you're really gonna learn so another nurse came up yesterday she was like hey I gotta go put in a foley do you want to come with me and i was like yeah girl like go like as much as you can do go do it and like you can come back and feel like like i can show you the boring stuff later like the boring stuff is never going to change but when you have the opportunity to learn you kind of got to go take it so those are just some of the skills that we did and 
you know, I think that's about it. She comes back with me next week and I'm honestly super excited. I just feel like I have a little baby. Like, you know, I feel like I had a child or something and I'm just like, I just want her to be just like me, but in her own respective way, you know what I mean? So that's just a little bit of what's going on, you guys. I have been doing great. I miss you guys. Nothing new really is going on. I went to go visit my family last week back home. So that was amazing. I got to spend time with my sisters. We had some girls day. We did like nails. We went to the beach. I got to see my brother as well. So I'll try to post a couple of clips um, from that vacation in here as well. But yeah, you guys just like stay tuned. And if you have not done so already, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys I'm soon. about to go ahead and head out here shortly. Go check into the hotel and probably just sleep. I do go back to work tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, like I told you guys. So just hang in there and I'll All talk right, to you guys. guys. So I'm proud of myself because I'm staying true and I'm actually like communicating with you guys. So it is still Thursday night. I decided to just hang out here one more night. So I just ordered some hibachi. I got me some um hibachi steak with rice and i'm sorry i'm saying i'm a lot because i've been drinking a little bit but i got me some hibachi steak with rice no vegetables and then i got an extra sauce um i'm about to probably just watch some true crime on youtube and then pass out here shortly i do want a milkshake and then we'll see what i'm doing after that but yes you guys oh i'm gonna show i'm gonna show you guys this hotel i'm gonna show y'all this hotel room because it is super cute and i really love the way they have it set up i don't know how to turn on more light but i just really want for y'all to see like the setup in here so one second right, so look this is the bathroom and these are like super cute okay no let me turn around boom, 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 boom. okay so look at this isn't this setup like so cute? It's like life of a traveler. So as y'all can see my bag and then that's my hibachi. I'm gonna eat some dinner and then call it a night. I will talk to you guys soon when we're on the way to work in the morning. Bye. All right, you guys, so it is now Friday morning. So good morning, everyone. We have had to drive about like two hours into work so right now it's 6 30 and i have about 20 minutes left on my drive i'll get there around 6 50 and then we're just going to start the shift the lighting is so bad so i really can't show you guys anything but i'll check in with you guys soon i'm positive today's gonna be like a great day because it's friday and i only have to work today and tomorrow and weekends are usually pretty slow so i'll check back in with y'all soon bye all right so i just wanted to check in with you guys i am now at work it's friday morning i got my report i have five patients up under me um i think it's gonna be a busy day i'm not gonna lie but a few of my patients are kind of ambulatory they walk they talk they take their meds just fine but my other couple of patients they seem like they're gonna need more attention so i'll keep y'all posted on how that goes mm. I just got my coffee, sorry, that's why I was like <laughs> drinking stuff because, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll check in with y'all soon. I think it's gonna be a good day. One of my patients do need platelets um, and my other patients are just like heart patients or respiratory failure patients. So not too much going on, but yes, <clears throat> just wanted to check in. There we go. So I am now hiding in the supply room, you guys. So this morning I was trying to be positive. I was like, it's gonna be a good day. Like it's Friday, like it's not gonna be no BS. Y'all, why do I have five patients and we have no healthcare tech? So I now have to do like all of my nursing duties and I also have to do all of my vital signs every four hours and everything for five patients it's not that's not a good ratio that's not a safe ratio first of all there's no reason that even giving us five patients that's a lot on its own five patients plus actually having your tech so just imagine not only do i have to do assessments wound care um ivs um freaking meds everything and then on top of all of that for all five patients i also now have to go get vital signs for them 
So it's just been a very busy day. I also had a patient that was needing blood products this morning. I had a patient that was crashing and burning. They really need to go to the ICU, but the ICU doctors don't want to take them over there. So we're just stuck with the patient and just trying to like make do. It's just like too much is going on because why do I have all these patients and why don't we have a tech? And then there was a girl that was sitting, there was a healthcare tech sitting in another room and they told her once the patient got discharged, okay, you need to go work the floor as a tech so that we could have some help. The girl literally said, oh no, I'm good. I'm not doing that. And she went and clocked out and left. So it's just crazy how people pick and choose when and what they want to do at work. I would never even feel comfortable trying to do something like that. So it's crazy to me how that stuff flies all the time. But due to people being lazy and due to nobody wanting to work, it just kind of creates like a more stressful and more jam-packed work schedule for everyone else that's here. So I'm probably not going to be up here much because I'm trying to get my job done and I barely have time to sit down and even think in between. But I just wanted to kind of keep you guys posted. That's how the day is going. We are halfway through. It's about 2.15 p.m. now. So I'm probably going to order some food here shortly, go sit down and eat, and then just finish out the day. And the weather sucks. It's pouring down raining. It's been pouring all day. So just imagine crappy assignment, crappy workload, plus crappy weather. There's just like, I'm just trying to find the positives right now. But you guys, pray for me, okay? <laughs> So I'm just going to record here because the lighting looks good and we're probably just going to end the vlog <laughs> shortly after this. So it is now Saturday. I worked my shift on my unit and y'all, it was hell on earth. Like, I'm not even playing. That's why I wasn't even trying to record because I went this morning, stopped at McDonald's, got me a nice coffee because the Starbucks is under construction. That was already the first red flag. Then we fast forward to getting here and y'all know I work on a progressive floor. I had ICU level patients that needed to go to the ICU and they were not in the ICU. So just imagine like all of the stat labs, all of the stat freaking tests that they wanted, all of the fluids, all of like the meds. They really wanted the most done on this patient. They needed to be one-to-one, -one, but I had four other patients to handle at the same time. And not only did I have four other patients, it's not like they were smooth sailing. Those four patients also had a bunch of stuff going on whether it be oxygen. I had another patient needing a blood transfusion. One of my patient's blood level hemoglobin was 4.8 this morning. The other patient that was crashing and burning, their CO2 levels was at eight this morning. So just imagine like they're really not well. Then my other third patient heart rate is 140s, 150s, freaking needing to be on a drip to make rate like. And then I have two other patients that weren't super terrible but then one of the other two midway through the shift started talking about oh i have chest pain oh i feel like my chest is caving in oh this oh that i just wanted to die like i'm not even gonna hold you it was a pretty stressful day i did survive um people were offering help so i'm not gonna complain i'm very grateful that we had a good team today but i also just want y'all to know that i was on my feet non-stop from the time i got here at seven until at least one o'clock p.m and like night shift it's nothing wrong with night shift but also too sometimes they do leave things and it kind of piles up to where it's like you really could have got the ball rolling on this at 5 a.m. when you heard about it. Why wait until 7 a.m. when literally you could just send a message to someone and let them know what's going on and get the orders that you need to get. But to push everything off until 7 and then now we're like behind the ball. Things have gotten worse since 5. Now we're like trying to play catch up while also trying to save lives. Like it just doesn't work out like that all the time. But all in all, this work week was stressful. I'll say that. Um, I'm very happy because the next three days I'm going to be off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I don't come back to work until Wednesday. So after this, I'm driving back home to visit my family. We have about a three and a half hour drive, and I'm just going to hang out with them for a few days. I definitely want to sleep nonstop, but I do plan on like going to church this week, and then I definitely want to go visit my papa, um, and then just kind of like spend time with my family. That's really my plans, but I'll check in with you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm.